In the last video, we added JWT or JSON Web Token Authentication to our REST Framework API. And in this video, I was going to move on to update and delete endpoints, but I want to do a very quick video on something else. So if we go back to urls.py, in the last video, we showed how to call slash API slash token, and we saw that the token obtain pair view that returns an access and a refresh JSON web token. But I want to show you what the token refresh view does in this video. So this is going to be a very short video and it's going to show what happens when we actually send a post request to this view and we're going to see how to do that. So what we're going to do is go back to api.http and this is the file that we've been using to call our API using the VS Code REST client extension. What we're going to do is copy this request that we have here and I'm going to minimize the sidebar. We don't need that in this video. And this request is sending a post request to actually get back an access and a refresh token from that token obtain pair view in the simple JWT package. So let's send this request. And before we do that, we need to start the Django server. And that's so we can actually connect to our API. Once it's connected, we can send the request. And you can see we get back the access token. In the previous video, we saw that we add that to the authorization HTTP header. And Django can then verify who the user is and that it's a valid token. But what do we do with this refresh token? So basically the access token has an expiry time. It's got a lifetime. And after that expiry time, it is no longer considered valid. Now this is something you can set with the simple JWT package. You can set that expiry time and it could be 10 seconds or it could be 10 days. It could be anything you want. But once that expires, you can then obtain a new access token by sending the refresh token to that other endpoint. So what I'm going to do is just go back to urls.py. We have another endpoint, api slash token slash refresh. And that uses the token refresh view from the simple JWT package. So we're now going to send a request to that endpoint. So I'm going to copy the post request that we've got here for getting an access and a refresh token. And we're going to paste this in here. And we just need to add slash refresh to the end of that URL. And we need to change the body here. It's not going to be a username and a password. So what I'm going to do here is add another key. And this key is going to be called refresh. And we're going to set that to the refresh token. So again, let me call the token endpoint here. And we're going to get back a refresh token. We can then copy that. So I'm copying the refresh token, not the access token. And we can add that as the value in this request here. Now, once we've done that, if we go back here to the token refresh endpoint, when we send that request, we get back a new access token. So if your token, your access token has expired and you need a new one, you should still have the refresh token around from the initial request. You can send that refresh token in the body of the post request, and that's going to be sent to the token refresh view that you can see here. And when you send that request with the refresh token, you're going to get back a new access token. Your client can then store that and use that new access token up until whenever that time has expired. And again, you can repeat that process as long as you have a valid refresh token. So that's the main thing I want to note in this video. We have two views that we're using here from the Django REST framework simple JWT package. The first one is token obtain pair view. And that takes the user credentials and it returns an access and a refresh JSON web token. But the other one is the token refresh view. And when your access token expires and you still have access to the refresh token, you can then send that refresh token in order to obtain a new access token. So I think it was important to reference a bit more about what the simple JWT package is doing with these two views. But what I'm also going to do is go to the documentation for that package. So we're on the simple JWT documentation. And I want to look at some of the settings that are provided by this package. Now, the behavior can be customized through some of these settings. So we have some settings here for the access and refresh token lifetime. So the default values here are five minutes for the access token and one day for the refresh token. And what that means is that when you obtain an access token, you've got five minutes to use that and then it's going to expire. And then you can use the refresh token, which has a much longer lifespan and you can send that to the other URL that we have here for the token refresh view. And you're going to get back a new access token for another five minutes. Now, these are settings and that means that they're customizable. So if your access token can be longer lived, you can set that to a time delta that's much greater than five minutes. And you can adjust these settings as you wish. Now, the settings also allow you to do some other things. You can change the algorithm that's used to actually encrypt the JSON web token. You can change the signing key for the tokens. And you could change things like auth header types and the auth header name. And if we go to the bottom here, as well as some of these other settings, we can also change the serializer classes that are used 
for the endpoints and the views that are used by Django REST Framework Simple Jot. Now there's a lot more we could do with this package if you want to customize things. So you can read through the documentation. I'll leave a link to that in the description of the video. But that's gonna be all for this video. It was a very simple video showing you how to actually use the refresh token endpoint and also to show some of the settings that you can use to actually customize what happens using this package. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel and keep this content free on YouTube, check out the coffee link that we've got in the description of the video. And thanks very much to everyone who's donated so far. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.